so on this particular um, in this particular exercise, sorry for my mask, but don't worry, I'm negative. I was rushing, so I go down here. I'm like, oh my god, my mask again. So in this particular one, uh, I don't think we have problem with the first one. The first one is if uh, we were actually with this. Nah. Too many things at the top. We do not need. Okay, that's better. We don't have any issue with these ones, I guess, because this is just you know three point forward. So everybody did you know something nice. So the turning point will be here this time around. So it should be something that looks like that. Uh, I don't know. Something like that, right? Because it's three point four. No, no, no. That's not three point four. That's not three point four. Okay, I forgot that I started from negative one. So the three point uh, upward, sorry, we start from here, isn't it? So the turning point will be here. So basically, you're moving, and it's the same shape. Okay, the same shape. So, so something like that. So like this, for example, we jump up to what? Jump on to three, yes. This is y equals zero. So this will also jump up to three. This point that was here will jump beyond the point we can see. So if you can just make use of this one, something like that. Something like that. They're laughing at my shape. Shame on you. <laughs> Alright. So uh, similarly, so this is not where I'm going today. I'm just trying to, you know. Let's just go through with this together. So, similarly, f of x minus 1, what does it do? It moves it one unit to the right. Right? One unit to the right. So this becomes the next turning point. Which means this point, this intercept now comes here. This intercept now comes here. The calibration can be sometimes annoying. Unless I write so many times that it starts. Yes, okay, it's good now. So you don't have to laugh at me. My cup is so nice. <laughs> my cup is so nice. I know you're jealous of my cup. It's so nice. You don't have to beat my cup, okay? I know my cup is cooler than yours. That's okay. All right. So same thing with here. Now, so this is the main issue some of you have. Two fx is a vertical stretch, right? Mm -hmm. So and when you have a vertical stretch, your X intersect remains the same, isn't it? So vertical stretch two units. So two units from the from which axis? Well, from the x axis, not from y. From x axis. So you measure with respect to. Okay. Your measurement is with respect to. WRT. That's with respect to. We're going to be using that a lot in calculus. With respect to x-axis, right? So for my x-axis, everything will be t in, which means your target is the turning point, if there is any. Okay. So from here now, two units, stretch it, it comes here. Because from here is 0 to 1, now it's going to be 0 to 2. And if this doesn't move, so everything just comes like that. Okay, that doesn't look nice. But it's okay. You get what I mean. You did this anyway yesterday. And the other one, this one, what does it do? It flips it along what? X or Y axis. Do you know how you can actually cheat with this? If I was in high school and I confuse F of negative F of X and F of negative X, I pick one. I know there are two situations. One is x, one is y. I mean, one is uh, reflection along the x, one is reflection along, don't look at the paper. I'm giving you a cheat. One is reflection along the x, one is reflection along the y. It's difficult to know this one, especially if the function is an even function. It doesn't make any difference, right? But this is easy. If normally y equals f of x, gives me y equals 4. This negative outside changes it to what? y is equal to negative 4. 
4 and negative 4, it means the mirror line is what? X axis. So if this is the reflection along X axis, this is the only one you need to remember. Okay? Then automatically, oh, this dude right here is reflection along Y axis. You don't have to stress yourself. When there are two things, I know it's either A or B. Back in the days, that's how I cheat my teacher. Don't tell them I said that. I know there are two, two ways to it. So I stick to one that is easily remembered. So once I use that to figure it out, because I hate cramming, I don't cram. It's okay if you get 100%, 90%, and I get 50%. As long as I understand, even way better than you, I'm fine. You could get the prize, but I get the knowledge, that's fine. But I have to understand. I don't memorize stuff. Okay? So, take this one, because it's so obvious, you can see that. Just check with any number. f of x is 4. Oh, the, the reflection will be f of x is minus 4. It will be y equals minus 4. So what does that mean? 4 minus 4. Okay, 1 is here, 1 is here. So this must be the mirror line, which means this is a reflection along the x-axis. So as a result of that, this is what you get. This comes, this is negative 1 comes here. Uh, this one comes here also, right? This point also comes here. Okay, it may not be a nice curve. Don't laugh at me, please. I did it. Oh my god. Oh no, they are going to laugh at me again. Something like that. Okay, and automatically the other dude is the one that, you know, does the other magic. Which is the kind of magic we have here. You can see, it's so obvious. Look, this point, they're staring at each other on a mirror. They're staring at each other in a mirror. So which means this is the mirror. You know, they're trying to apply the makeup and stuff, you know, do their hair, whatever. And there's something the mathematician hasn't been able to figure out. Why do ladies spend hours in front of the mirror just for a five minute interview? <laughs> ladies, what is your problem? Anyway, hopefully the mathematicians can figure that out. So, again, I noticed someone yesterday was writing the equation here. He says, describe. In words. Because your wordly description will help. Your word the description in words. Uh oh, come on, I'm trying to minimize. No. Okay, what did I do? Okay, we lost that. That's fine. We do it again. But we don't need it anyways. The description in words will help you in writing the equation eventually. That was why that came first. Okay, I think I told the person involved, but please just wanted to say that to the class as well. Okay, because the, the, if, if the description in words say reflection in x axis, oh, then you know, oh, all I have to do is just put minus before the function itself. Then you write that down. But this time around, this is reflection in the y axis. That is the description. It means the equation will be f of negative x. Okay, so there's a reason I put it in that order. Now, the one that is really of interest, I actually was arguing with Lydia yesterday blindly. So then I, you know, I just went back and I had, uh, that, and I checked what she was trying to tell me again. Apparently, we missed some points. Uh, I explained some points, and I think I just trusted some of you, and I just used your paper as marking guide. That's my fault, by the way. This is meant to be. The instruction says. Uh, okay, f of negative 2, f of 2x, this one. This is definitely an horizontal stretch, scale factor half. Your stretch is with respect to the axis each time, whether vertical or horizontal stretch. Wait, what happened? Oh, I'm sorry. Dude, you can warn me next time, you know. <coughs> Whether vertical or horizontal stretch is with respect to the axis. Okay? And that was the point that, you know, made me recall, oh my god, that's true. So I was saying nonsense. Because I was trying to argue with her, no, if you listen to me, no, no, no. You know, of course, polite argument. Now, what, what does this mean? Let's look at the first one. I don't want to move close to you, but I don't want to scare you. So you look at shh, you look at the major points. 
with respect to the y-axis. What are the major points here? The x-intercept and any turning point. Then you make sure you have their distance. Are you with me? Uh, <clears throat> so look at this. Look at this point here. That's one. Half of that is 0 0.5, isn't it? So let's see. 0 0.5 will be somewhere here. So that's our new point for that particular point. Here is 3. Half of that is what? 1.5. This is 1. 2 will be somewhere in between. So 1.5 will be between 2 and 1. Does that make sense? This point, whatever it is, looks like it's 2 actually. Okay, remember your line of symmetry is always the midpoint of these two intercepts. We talked about that earlier, right? So if this is 2, half of 2 is 1, so it means directly below 1 is our new turning point, however, on this same line. Remember the y is invariant. On the same line, so it's still the same y. But this is our new turning point. So with this, you can have a sketch. We don't, do we have any business with this? It's zero from the y-axis. Half of zero is zero, so it still remains. Am I making sense? Yeah. So, come here. Let's make a nice color. I like purple. Okay, I like purple. So we come here, we draw this, it turns, goes back. Looking nice. Uh oh, sorry, my hand is a bit shaky. Something like that. It looks horrible, but I think you get the point, right? Should, should they yes. also half the other side that crosses? Yeah, but we wouldn't know because we don't even know the measure of this one. But oh. yes, if, if it was on the Cartesian graph, you can actually measure it. Oh, oh yeah. Friend is very smart. What it's saying is, rather than just draw a messy stuff, how about we have this one too? So which will be somewhere here. So when it comes here, it passes through this point, it comes like that. Okay? Do you get what you meant by that? Alright? Then also, uh, finally, the line is probably too thick. This point here to the y and this, I believe the half will be somewhere here anyway. Right? So if we are drawing that part, it shouldn't be this basically. So we could have something like this. Half of it is here, it turns here, it turns here, go like that, turn here, something like that. Okay? So let's take notes. If it is horizontal stretch, make sure the distance of the major points. What are the major points? <laughs> Turning points, x intercepts, those are the major ones. The other minor ones are, you know, obvious. You just use some kind of common sense. Uh, okay, if I pick this point, I should be here. If I look at this one, I should be here, then that's come, that will guide you. Any questions? So, just to like clear the air on what's happened yesterday. So, today we'll continue practice from yesterday. Uh, recall the last thing that we mentioned about those inverse of non-linear functions. So I'm going to give you something that I prepared for that, that I wanted to give you yesterday. I'm going to display it now. Come on, not now. Okay. So this I brought to class yesterday, so we're just going to change the dates. So we're going to practice some of this. I don't want you to use technology. Let's just try to use just our initiative that we can check with technology later. All you can, all I needed to bring out is that guide that I printed for you. Okay. Don't forget the maximum whatever points. Somebody sent me something yesterday. Uh, I think it was Vena. Yeah, about. Uh, shouldn't this be x squared minus 4? I hope you got my reply. Uh -huh. Because it's possible you have, look, it's possible you have something that is just here, which doesn't touch. So the reflection also, because now this is the minimum, 
in that case, if this is uh, everybody, please look. When I was asking a question yesterday about some uh, a question, so maybe I use this opportunity to put that here. So let's say we have a quadratic curve like this. No. If you have a quadratic curve that does not touch, so let's say the turning point is I pick a particular value. So we don't have to stress too much. I pick I pick a quadratic curve whose turning point is two two. Something like that. So in terms of the inverse, we mention something about the local minimum will be the other local maximum, right? It will be corresponding to it. What do we mean by corresponding to it? This is two two. It's on the other side. What is inverse of that two, the reciprocal, that's one over two, right? Which means the other point is going to turn as 0 0.5. And because it, it asks uh, why is it got to zero as the asymptote, it doesn't touch it. So it's going to end up coming this way, not touching it, turn here, then go back, something like that. Am I making sense? Okay? So in case you, now the question you asked yesterday, let's check. What was that equation again, Ms. B? Uh, I think it's uh, x squared plus four. Okay, so let's see. X squared, everybody please look at the board. X squared plus four. Can you see? I mean, I like that. Can you see that? So it doesn't touch the x-axis. Okay? Now, the minimum point is 4. The inverse, the reciprocal, not inverse now, the reciprocal is what? 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25. So the other is going to turn at 0 0.25. And still the same x value, by the way. Did you see that? And the asymptote is y equals 0, as usual. Let's look at it. It's a proper fraction. Okay? So when this becomes 0, everything becomes 0. So it's just going to come flat and turn here, you know, like that. Does that make sense? So if you have quadratic function especially, if this applies to all quadratic functions that behaves this way. The only thing you need is just the inverse of this. And that's one of the, what, what clue was that? I wrote it somewhere there. Point number what? In the case two. Point number what? Is it point two? Can you read that out? Can you read that point two? The local maximum of mm -hmm. inputs which are not zeros correspond to the local minimum of. Uh, then I put some that is what? That is like a, mm -hmm. like the coordinate is a, a comma b for f x and for the inverse it's a comma one. One over b. So it's still the same x coordinate but different y coordinate reciprocal. So that would help us a lot, okay? All right, so with that, Miss Lillian, this thick one, and that's the next person. So let's do some sketching. And that's all I want us to do today. So I'm going to give this back once I check the first page. I give it back and complete the other page and return it back to me again. Are you all right, Miss Callisto? You don't look it. And I've seen you try to like lie down, sleepy, getting coffee. Do you want some coffee? You want some coffee? Can I call Starbucks to bring coffee? Wait, really? <laughs> I, I, I want. We're going there. I want. You want coffee? I'll just keep my coffee. Actually, no, it's tea and coffee. So tired. Why? You know, I had teachers talking about it yesterday. That from five. 
I was so tired in the morning. What happened? Uh, maybe because they get so much work. <laughs> really? Are you sure you're not like watching some movies or talking? I haven't had time to watch movies in months. Yeah. You haven't seen movies in months? I haven't had time to watch movies in months. Ah, I like your life. I wish no. I had my life. I want to watch my life. So if it's about a lot of work, is it? Are, are you sure the work is much or we need to work on our organization? Work and work. Or is it a mix of both? If you complain that it's too much work, then I think I have to face too much work. Because she doesn't complain. Oh wait, she might complain, but if she complains it's too much work, then it's too much work. Nakita, is it too much work? Yeah. If Nakita says it's too much work, then it's too much work. <laughs> but this is someone I know, we do extra work on our own. Okay, so maybe one of the things you can do is try to talk to your teachers. Talk to me if I give you a lot of work. Talk to anyone. Inbox me privately if I do, all right? And try to talk to, and you need to understand that your teachers are probably giving you too much work out of concern for your exam as well. Do you get my point? Like, oh my God, I need to cover biology, oh no, I need to cover this for this student, and things like that. And it's just so much work is overwhelming on you. It happens, but you guys should be fine. Okay? Sorry. How can I get you to make you feel better? Sleep. Sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have bed in school. Please, collaboration is allowed. Talk among yourselves, share ideas. Ask me questions. Yeah, I know the meo, 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 meo that you want to see. <laughs> Wait, my Chinese exam results came out yesterday. Oh, you guys want to see it? Yeah. Well, I think I passed. <laughs> you know how teenagers do when they fail? Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm a beginner in Chinese, what do you think? Well, I think I passed. It's just that our teacher was so annoying. That's the fine excuses, right? Okay, so here comes my grade. Drum roll. Drum roll. What's it mean, drum roll? You're asking questions. We don't have time for your question. <laughs> B. Yay! Oh. Wait, is there any comment? Yeah, but they tell me how horrible I was in some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so apparently the content I got 28 out of 30. Pronunciation, I know my pronunciation is horrible. So of course this is real me. Vocabulary and structure, ah sometimes, you know, I don't know if it is Boo, do, or do, boo, because of passion negation and stuff, so I get it. Fluency, of course, I don't expect to be fluent. So I got 84. Mm. And 84 is a B. That's ridiculous. I should have an A. <laughs> anyway, my wife did better. She got an A. She got 89. Wow. I'm like, okay, I'm jealous. I'm going to have to kill you so I can be the better one next time. Wait, is it 84? Is it 85 you say an A? What? Is it 85 years? No! <laughs> university is different! Dude, I did a course, I got 92, guess what I got? A minus. A minus. Listen, Daddy, you know what A minus is? What? A minus is what um, teachers give students that uh, would have gone an A but they don't like them. <laughs> I know, my professors are not like that, trust me. I'm like, what? A minus? Are you kidding? Anyway, so all the Mayo Mayo worked a little bit. <laughs> it sounds like, you know, mayo, like... You know what I was... <laughs> what does that sound like? The sauce? Oh, sauce? The sauce is that? <laughs> oh, like that one. Oh, okay. Because when I was learning mayo, mayo, I'm like, oh yeah, this is what Karen says with Krista in front of my class. <laughs> oh, that means she doesn't have something. What does she talk about? <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, thanks for all the all the Chinese stuff. I do want to learn Chinese. I keep learning. Thank you. 